Hey everybody, welcome. This is your reminder that Daybreak City Nights contains violence and other adult themes and isn't meant for kids. Now, on the glistening shores of a far off land, perched atop the crumbling carapace of a long dead sea god, stands a city like no other. From the western inland side of the city, approaching it rises like a bone white mountain barnacled by buildings and surrounded by bright houses and busy streets approaching this city from the west along the main road is a single elf approaching his middle years dressed in pragmatic traveling gear and carrying the tools of his trade Aelin, what have you been up to? Hello. Aelin's been living a really, really boring existence the last few weeks, in fact. He's been working at the museum. He's been giving tours and lectures when necessary. Uh, and he's about three or four days in to an epitaxium expedition. About, I think it's something... Uh, 30 or 40 miles outside of the city on a newly discovered um, archaeological dig. And he's been doing the usual setup stuff in an old ruin, getting lines and ropes ready, getting tools set up, sorting out the camp. And he's having to head back very, very early. Very early indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, summer is ending now, or starting to end, but it's still hot. And um, as you approach the city and enter one of its many gates, the air feels close and oppressive and heavy. Mm. You know, it's humid. Um, and there is an atmosphere that matches that feeling. Um, mm. You see... And this has been something that has been gradually ratcheting up over the last few weeks. More and more people wearing the um, blue uniforms of the Kaviti Security Coalition. Yes. And uh, few and fewer people um, sort of lightheartedly going about their days. Um, remind us what it is that brought you back to the city early from your expedition that you love so well. Well, as unexciting as these expeditions are, they are intensely interesting. And it is the... It, it would have to be some very, very important or serious news to tear Aelin away from one of these expeditions. Uh, unfortunately, it is the latter. And he has a funeral to go to. Mm -hmm. Um... I think it's a friend of yours who was also a scholar, um, mm. maybe once at Potaxium trained, but now working at one of the independent um, sort of not universities, but like colleges and apprenticeship programs in Daybreak City. Yes. A uh, human. Um, and the funeral is typical of Daybreak City. Um, mm -hmm. There is a band. Um, that plays largely um, brass instruments. Yep. Um, and it takes place along a river. Um, ah. There is a there is a barge there um, piled with uh, flammable materials, and there is a priest of one of the newer saints performing this ritual um, that's going to send them off to the afterlife. It is um, quiet and standard and respectful. Yep. One of the things that you will notice is mm. that you are almost the only elf. Mm. Uh, it is humans, um, a few um, orcs, half orcs, goblins, gnolls, and the other um, sort of common people, uh, halflings of, of the city. And um, and one other, uh, a dark elf with the, the blue-violet skin uh, and silver hair of his people. Um, unlike 
most of the attendants. This man is wearing white from head to toe and carrying a parasol. Oh. And um, it seems to be, you sort of notice he, he's approaching you, I is still on the um, ritual, which is ongoing, um, but yeah. sort of out of earshot. So he's, he's walking over. Um, you uh, sort of can tell that he's intending to um, introduce himself or, or make yeah. some sort of conversation. Yeah, okay. Um, can I uh, suss him out? Mm. Um, yeah, see what he's see, see what he's about. See what see what my first impression and insights on, sure. on this chap are like. I would love yeah, an insight roll. Actually, uh, oh no, no, that's not it. Oh, this is going disastrous. You gotta so, get the technical insight. stuff out of the way early, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, insight, insight, insight. Not trained, but not awful. Okay. Hmm. Um, yeah. You get a f an interesting impression of this person. Um, they are, they have been, you know, sort of quiet and friendly, mm. um, making small conversation with the people who they've run into, you know, participating in this parts where they're expected to, you know, either stand up or sit down or whatever else. Yeah. Um, but the impression that you get is not someone who is grieving but rather somebody who is somewhat amused hmm or maybe so, bemused just sort of you catch the corners of his mouth turning up in like a smite slight smile from time to time interesting uh, and wanders over to you and says um hi elf uh, holds out his hand um, yeah, the pleasure Aylan, to meet Aylan, you. Aylan will shake it. Hello there. Pleasure. Uh, Kamek. Does it... Does it make you wonder what the point is for them? Did you notice they don't like having us here? They don't want us at this reminder of how short their lives are, I think. That's what can the they do? I get. It isn't. No. No, I know. I know most of the people here. But the only one I knew well, of course, is the Stuart himself, who passed away far too soon. But don't they all pass away too soon? They do. They're what? 50, 90, 150 years is nothing. Quite right. Cannot have meaning. There. To our, um, I'm sorry, you were speaking. Oh, yeah, they're cursed with consciousness and sapience and still have such a blink of an eye, almost, in lifespan. It's remarkably unfair. Hmm. Perhaps. Or maybe they are given what they deserve. Who can say? So you are from the university. I am, yes. Um, what do you Aylan study? Roshield. Aylan Roshield. I'm a... I am an archaeologist. Um, history, architecture. You see his face almost falls a bit and uh, you can you can tell that some of the interest has faded from his eyes yeah. and he says the, the past then. Yeah. For us there's always, there's always a lot to learn from the mistakes of others especially when those mistakes are recorded so well. Hmm. That's fair. Um, 
We may have more time to waste than them, but it does not do to make foolish mistakes. No, very true. It is a pleasure to meet you, Alien Rose Shield. Um, pleasure. Offers his hand again. again. I've forgotten already. <laughs> um, he very briefly uh, mentioned Kamek as his mm. name. Yeah. Uh, and as he turns away, um, you see him um, motion to a few people and um, actually leaves the the funeral. Um, and as he does, um, seven or eight people um, from the crowd dressed the same as anyone else sort of quietly follow him out. Mm. And um, we are going to switch to the neighborhood of Central Apodine uh, and specifically the Baker family bakery. Uh, let me let me grab uh, Tanya, aka Taco Trash Can. Um, you look down at your hands, and they're the hands of a five-year-old. You're walking around carefree, exploring a North Apodem alleyway. You were distracted by a cat watching what it was doing, following it around. You've had this I dream before. Cats. Yeah. Do you remember what happens next? Um, I think I fall next. Yeah. yeah. There's, I think, this sort of strange um, partial awareness that it's a dream and still experiencing it uh, as every single time the ground cracks and caves in, you tumble down this chasm level after level as the layers of the shell and bone of the city give way. Ow. Oh. Oh, this sucks. Something about the dream is different this time. When you finally roll to a stop, um, there's always a sort of remembered feeling of pain, but this time uh, the pain in your back and your stomach feels immense. And you look down and by the faintest light that still trickles from the shattered fissure above you, you can see these two large shards of city shell have pierced you through. And there's so much blood. What do I do? Why is this worse? This is not how your dream goes. Why? Why is it different this time? And with a jolt, you wake up. <sighs> oh. Covered in sweat in your room. What time is it? Um. I imagine that it's just after the sun's beginning to rise. Okay. Let's get up. We're gonna start the day. Yep. We're gonna ignore that. And we're gonna start the day. And uh, <laughs> Tanya <laughs> tries to like to take a quick shower to wash off all the sweat and then yeah. starts putting on a clothes for the day. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. You, so your morning, you say, you know, rinse yourself off, put on your clothes. Tell me a little bit about your room or where you live. Like, do you have a, is it your own bathroom? Like, how does, what's the whole setup for you? Um, I, Tanya, Tanya, I think, since her family has been poor for quite a long time, lives in a nook at the very top of the house. And mm. it's like, and like, you know, like, um, I think nowadays it would be like a cozy reading nook, but like, it's like Tanya's room and it has like a, like, you know, like a few posters and it has like mini books about magic and baking. And, um, and she just has like a, a small little bed. And then there's a few like cat stuffed animals around from her childhood and, um, and like a, like a, an old wooden door. That is, that would be beautiful. This old wooden mm. door would be absolutely stunning, but it's so, it hasn't been taken care of or anything. So it needs like a good sanding and- Sure. Uh, Does it have like 
I'm just curious, does it have posters or like art on it or a mirror, like, or is it just um, the door? It has a few edgy posters on it now. Okay. And, um, and like a mirror hangs over it. Um, I think the posters are like, you know, like, like you can kind of see behind some of like the edgier band posters. There was like a, a, a poster of a lady with a cake that's like all nice and smiling, but like, you know, like maybe from like her past, but like you see her like coming into like teenagehood and then posting up like the edgy, like, yeah, like despairs Ray and like, like. This just occurred to me. Hmm. Is there any chance that you would have a poster of Sly the Cactus King? I think Tanya would have a poster slide the cactus king. Okay, that's fair. Um, just curious. It just occurred to me. Uh, so yeah, you're going about your morning. Um, when you glance in the mirror after your shower, um, there is just almost from your peripheral vision a reflection of a child um, withered and decaying. And you start and look, and it's just you. You're fine. It's just your normal self that you see every day. There's a sound of a hammer from downstairs on an iron nail. How am I going to get through today? Oh, how am I going to get through today? OK, I'm going to practice in the mirror. Hey, like I know repairs are almost done. I don't want to make anything weird or awkward, but do you, you want to go on a date with me? Like maybe like in a few weeks, I'm kind of busy with some stuff, but like after that stuff, would you like to go on a date with me? That sounds, that sounds pretty normal. Yep. Okay. Let's just, all right. Give me a charisma check for how that felt practicing in the mirror. <laughs> Your charisma is pretty good. Yeah. This yeah, could yeah, be great. Pretty good. Yeah, it could be, it could be great. Is confidence possibly a good thing or a bad thing here? Who can say? Who knows? All right. You got this. Real good. I got this. This boy, he likes me. All right. Yeah, uh, they did tell you that they're nearly finished. Um, you think this is maybe their last day putting the finishing touches on the cafeteria. Okay. Uh, yeah, Tanya heads downstairs with like a, a slight bound in her step. She's excited mm -hmm. um, and uh, goes over. I imagine the father and the son are there and she's like, hey, can I borrow um, a Xander for a second? Yeah, um, the Xander, this younger um, golden scaled dragonborn was up on a ladder um, touching up paint on this new smaller sign. Um, beneath the Baker family bakery sign that reads, bread can be so many things. Um, and- uh, Can be so many things. Uh, you know, it's got like a paintbrush and stuff and looks down at it. Oh, um, one moment. Uh, and uh, just puts like one more finishing thing and then, um, you know, wipes the excess paint and, um, you know, sort of, very meticulously does that so as not to spill anything and then sets his can of paint down with the brush on top of it and uh, climbs down this wooden ladder that um, creaks beneath him. Xander is is like a large person, um, like tall and broad. And so this, this you can almost hear the ladder complaining as he uh, makes his way down and then he turns around. Um, how can I help you, Miss Baker? Oh, the side's beautiful, by the way. Um, hi, uh, you, you. Can call me you can call me Tanya. Um, hey, so I uh, don't want to make anything weird. I know it's your last day, um, but I was hoping, wondering that maybe in like a few weeks, we could go on a date if if you want to, that would be fine. If not, then that's also fine. We can be friends. A date um, like romance. I have a small boat. We could go fishing if you like. Yeah, we love to go fishing. Ooh, I can maybe uh, swirl the fish up with my magic and we can catch a bunch and roast them. That would be nice. Um, I think maybe the 23rd day 
of the Apple Moon? That sounds good. Wait, I'm sorry. I've had a kind of a weird morning. What day is it? Uh, Apparently. you know, I should have double checked. I'm gonna. I think it's the ninth. Let me confirm. That's funny. Yeah, it's the ninth. The ninth day of the Apple Moon today. All right. If everything goes according to plan, I'll see you on the twenty third. Uh, do you want to meet here? What time? Oh, uh, this this was is perfect. Um, twenty three um, is a lucky number. Aw, I didn't know that. Upstairs, uh, Rory, you are uh, awakening from your slumber. Uh, oh. on, on the couch that you sleep on. Yeah, I don't think I have a bed. I don't. Uh, we don't. There's not enough space for like another room in this right. place, right? It's yeah, like we we bedroom. established that right. Uh, Nevin yeah, sleeps in the Nievin bed, and you sleep yeah. on the couch. Yeah. Yeah, I pretty much. I, and Yevon probably has at some point been like, you know, Rory, you could just take the bed in one night, and but I, I would never. Mm -hmm. Um, a couple things that you're thinking about as you wake up. Okay. You can be thinking about whatever you want, as long as it includes these things. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're aware that soon, um, Boar and Marish Moramira are going to be arriving. Boar comes by now, also known as Gam Gam. Uh, nearly every day for different pastries that usually include some form of seafood ingredient. Right. right. Uh, and every third day, she helps you and Tanya train. Oh, yeah. So that's one thing. Uh, the other thing that you're sort of chewing on this morning, amongst anything else that is on your mind, is that as Bor and Mirish have sort of come here and there and as you've moved very carefully around the area over the last few weeks you've learned something interesting and that is that the Cavite Security Coalition is not everywhere there mm. are neighborhoods where you never see their shiny new blue uniforms um, you have not run into them yet in Central Apathy, where the bakery is. And um, the neighborhood of Krennel, um, as well as like Spireback and the Wen, just to the east, seem to be like very sparse running into anybody from that group. Okay. All right. Yeah, that that's really useful because I've been doing my best to keep my head down and I'm still not sure if I really should be staying here, but rather than just kind of just leaving the city. Um, but as far as I know, whatever, wherever these people are, whatever they're they're looking for me, I don't think they're looking for Nevin. Which means that if I can just not get involved in anything, then my sister can, you know, do her thing and go to school and everything's fine. And I just need to you know, keep my head down. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I should probably go down and start uh, getting ready for Gam Gam and Mirish to, to get here. And sure. Yeah. What goes into that? Just out of curiosity. Oh, I mean, at this point, I've been working the bakery so long. I, I've I think I know every, all the ropes and everything, right? Like, hmm. they trust me to go into the ba into the back room and actually handle the dough and and all that. They've trained me, so I think at this point, I'm actually making the bread by hand myself. I'm not just preparing it. So, you know, I get the flour and I get the water and I put it together. Yeah. I grab, there's like a, a pretty obscene box full of fish and different crustacean things. I need to dig through it. I hate, hate going in there, but yeah. for Gam Gam. Various states of freshness slash yeah. fermentation. Yeah, I have to kind of dig to the bottom. To get... <laughs> yeah. Because not everybody orders it, you know? It's, it's, yeah, it's not the great, it's not the best. As you're sort of chewing on the fact that you're like, man, I've sort of found these little um, streets in some cases and entire neighborhoods in others where it seems pretty safe. Is there any desire to let anyone else know about this discovery? I am definitely thinking in my head, maybe we can move our practice with Gam Gam to one of these places hmm. for sure. Um, because so I want... 
the alley and the the street the bakery is on and the alley behind it are actually seem clear. Okay. And the alley in the back is where you guys have been doing your se- practice sessions. I see. I see. Um, but even still, that's still kind of close to the, like, like mm. we, I imagine we do this while Nevin's at school or, sure. while, or no, no, it's summer. Cause there's so school's not actually on right now. Right. Um, roll me a D two. A D. Okay. Uh, it's the first day of school. Oh, dang. Okay. Um, um, so the- Nevin is, is getting ready and, um, and is, uh, you know, putting, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the first day of school, you get like a little bit extra. Yeah. Put together, yeah, yeah. Right? You got all, all like, like four mm-hmm. pencils, like two pens all in your little, your, your little zip case for your pencil case. And I love that nice when I tiny. said, like, get more nice for school, you're like, yeah, <laughs> pencils and pens and not like clothes. <laughs> I was getting there. Your Kyle is showing. <laughs> my, my Kyle is showing, yeah. Um, I imagine Nevin has like a nice outfit that she was been saving just for the first day of school. Probably. Like kind um, of a new, a new summer dress and. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, she comes out looking very put together and it's like, it's going to be, um, it's going to be weird going to school without Tanya. Yeah, I, um, yeah, it is. I, did you? You haven't talked to her at all about that, have you? Um, well, she has Actually, yeah, I'm going to be late, but we need to talk about some stuff that she told me. And she uh, turns oh. and leaves. Oh, um, okay. No, that's not good. Tanya, okay. I'm going to go find Tanya immediately. <laughs> you I may. Need... Okay. Uh, if you come downstairs, you'll see them in what looks like a slightly bashful conversation of this dragon with this dragon. Okay. <laughs> I, I I kind of rush downstairs. I'm assuming at this point I'm ready. I go downstairs. Um, I I'll wait a second while Tanya finishes up with the dragon boy, but I'm watching and kind of low key glaring at Tanya. Yeah. You know that feeling when, like, you're talking to somebody and somebody else is just making unbroken eye contact with you <laughs> further away? Exactly. Uh, and and uh, um. Xander sees you, see him, and turns around and says, Oh, your friend, uh, I'll finish the sign. Okay, the 23rd. Thanks, the 23rd. I, uh, what time do we agree on? I forgot um, already. I'm sorry. What is a good time for date of romance? Like, evening? Five, six, I don't know. 5.06, very good. All right, 5.06, I'll I meet will you here. Be punctual. Okay. I'm always I... punctual. Okay. <laughs> In Tanya's mind, she thinks, oh, this might not work, but we'll give it a try <laughs> when he says I'm punctual. Um, <laughs> uh, I <laughs> see <laughs> <laughs> as soon as Xander starts to walk away, I kind of like r- rush up to you and say, like, Tanya. Um, uh, yeah, what's up, Rory? So, did you talk to Nevin at all, perhaps? Yes, we should go in the back. <sighs> we should okay. go in the back. All right. All right. Um, and Tanya, like, leads uh, Rory back to like the cooler where the fish were and so we just closes the cooler door and like it smells of fish in there because of Gam Gam and Marish and mm-hmm. I imagine other orcs are like we could get fish bake like stuff here and then so they started coming and so like it's just a gross fish time in here it's a gross fish um, time yeah um GFT <laughs> All right. GFT spill the beans how much did you tell her yeah, I told her everything. T- Tanya, no, you, uh, you're not. We, we pro, you promised. You promised. We we're gonna keep this in the oven. I okay. So here's the thing. Nevin's my best friend. I Nevin's was my sweating. Sister. Okay, but I was sweating bullets every single time we were hanging out because I can't keep stuff from my friends. 
And so all you need to do was not say that we've killed people and done some shady business. It's like just so many things to talk about other than that. But I wanted to include her in my life. I don't. I don't want Murray, Nevin. You underestimate her. She is strong. If if I wasn't here, she'd be she'd be just as strong as you. I know, I know Nevin's strong. I, I, I've seen her practice magic. She's, she's really good, but I don't, I don't want him to get in danger. And like, you've seen I the posters she... out there. You, you've seen, like, they're looking for me. I, right. I can't go anywhere. I'm stuck right. here. I, I'm. Right. So we might as well tell Nevin. So that way somebody at least knows if we disappear, what happened to us, or if we die, that somebody would remember us. So, what now? What now? Are you gonna, are you gonna get Nevin to join us in all adventures? No. Take the next time we rob a bank or something. No. Get we're not robbing activity? a bank. We're not gonna be involved in any more criminal activity. You know, Rory, we talked about this. You know, my main priority is to figure out where the Crystal Heart Gang is keeping the Crystal Heart. Just stop it from resurrecting and killing literally everyone why i dropped out of school why we're training with a, a boar also too they're my favorite person and my role model but besides that yeah i i yeah. sorry i just I, don't it's just it's just a lot to take in i'm, I'm just trying to process it right now Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I'm just okay. going through a lot and I think I might have realized some things and I'm starting to see some things that aren't there or maybe should be there instead of me. What, wait, and what? it's kind of freaking me out. You're, um, not, you're not hearing bells again, are you? No, it's... Um, I'm seeing like a dead withered child when I look at myself in the mirror. Oh. Oh yeah, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> yeah. Sounds... Yeah, so I um Rory, I don't I don't know if I should be here. Uh this is the point at which a loud knock on your back door, uh, which is very close to this uh room that you're in. Um rings <laughs> out. Jesus <laughs> Wow. Come out! Don't waste my time! It's a game game? Uh, yeah, yeah, it sounds like game game. Let's uh, okay, yeah. let's hurry up. Um, oh, I, I didn't finish. Okay, let me let me grab the buns, okay? You you go okay. open the door, I'll get the buns. Okay, okay. Um, and uh, Tanya goes and opens the door. She's like, hi, game game. Do you want your <laughs> usual? You know I do. Uh, Mirish is there uh, with game game. Uh, back door, the alleyway behind uh, the Baker family bakery. Hi. Uh, how are you doing? Irish. Oh, I'm doing. Okay, I'm doing okay. I heard a bunch of talking. What were you talking about? Fun stuff. Anyways, here's your pastries. And, yeah, we're, and... we're just like just finishing up wrapping it. It's like kind of shoddily made because it's doing really fast, and he just like rushes over. Here, Gam Gam. Here, Marish. Hi, Marish. How you doing? Hi. How you doing? I I I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. We're okay. Uh, all right. We're okay. Oh, uh, here at well, the baker's family. Okay. We're okay. Mm -hmm. We're okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, if if uh, if you're okay with it, are you okay to hang out today? I don't have much to do. It's quiet. Yeah. Like yeah. We're in the market, so. Yeah, as long as we stay around here, um, or maybe maybe in Krenel. I thought maybe we could go out for some ice cream. I mean, I love your pastries, Tanya, but like, yeah, I'm, how about pastry with ice cream? Yeah, no, yeah, no, I'm I'm totally all about ice cream, too. I really want to get one of those machines, but they're expensive and I haven't made enough money yet. So, yeah, but they, they sell it on the market. We can go to the market. Um, yeah, yeah, we can go to market. Hey, Rory, uh, mm. it's going to be fine. I have a spell for you. OK, don't um, think what? you're going to run away and get ice cream before we do our training. We can get oh, out yeah, of it that right. easily. Fine. Right, right. No, we wouldn't. We wouldn't yes. skip the training. Discipline. Okay. Dedication. Yes. Ice cream yes. after yes. though. Yes. Shit's yeah. important. 
It really is really important. It's really important. I'm sorry. Um, okay, and so we'll train, gam gam. and then we get ice cream. Uh, Zara, what do you think your gam gam's training sessions look like? Um, gam gam mostly stands off to the side, hmm. barking orders, and you kind of almost forget that she can kick some ass. Mm -hmm. Up until the point where she's like, no, 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 you're doing it wrong. And then all of a sudden, like the sweet moves come in and you're kind of like, how does this, this lady still have so much kick in yeah. her, in her legs. And, and she just, you know, breaks it. The There's tree this in half like crate on the ground over here. that I think maybe she pulls up and sits on to like, you know, so that she doesn't have to stand off to the side to bark order. She can literally sit down and yell at you and say what to do. Faster. Yeah. Okay. I'm going as fast as I can. All right, yeah, Rory is, Rory is just like practicing different sword moves, um, especially practicing uh, using his sword with his like, he can kind of like push his sword further with his psionic abilities. Mm -hmm. Do some little yeah. like vibration things and get some extra hits in. I think at one point she has you standing on one foot and she's throwing rocks at you <laughs> and you're supposed to like balance and dodge yeah. them and like yeah. block them with your sword and stuff. Gam Gam, gam I don't think this is... Rory! Is... <laughs> what? Do concentrate. Listen, Kim, Kim. Rory. Yes. What are, you, what? what are you doing? I am... Right now. I'm... Well, right now, I was, I was standing on one foot while you threw rocks at me. That's right. You're off balance. <laughs> You're unstable. Rory, sometimes it helps if you do a backflip. It's harder to hit you when you do a backflip. Um, okay. Rory, I'll try to do a backflip. <laughs> Oh, acrobatics, please. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> a backflip is not a DC 10 acrobatics check. It is like a, for sure, like a 15, 16 to do one that doesn't suck. Okay, um, yeah. I, yeah, so you I think guess, you I eat guess, it. Yeah, I, I, I pretty much don't even get like a quarter of the way through the backflip. I just like fall on my head. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> it just looks uh, like I fell myself. <laughs> at that, um, Gam Gam walks over and reaches out uh, her hand to pick you up. Yeah, you know, just oh. to help you to your feet. Thank you, Gam Gam. I'll, I'll take the hand and. Mm -hmm. And she pulls you. You know, it's, it's like just disturbingly strong still. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm always surprised. <laughs> I should have been more clear. I don't mean that you lack physical balance you are of two minds rory and it makes you unstable caution is good but what's your direction you need to decide if you want to be a fighter or not I... do you do you know what a fighter does a fighter i mean at least to me a fighter fights to protect, to fight for those who can't, who aren't able to, to fight. That's a good answer. I think so. I think I would say a fighter works with their friends and, you know, when the time is right, they make sure that they are the ones getting punched in the face and not their friends. And she punches you in the face. <laughs> Um, like I, I think I think Rory just takes it. Like I don't even try to dodge it. Oh yeah. Well, like, there's no dodging this in yeah. any case. But um, uh, your oh. uh, sunglasses that are normally your armor just right. shatter. No, my sunglasses into like a oh. lots of pieces. Um, you know what? Let's just see how much damage it does because oh. <laughs> she can't not. Eight. Eight damage? Okay. Um. Wow. <laughs> oh, Gam -Gam. oh, Oh, jeez. <laughs> she uh, looks uh, over at you, Mirish, and is like, I don't like, a little carried away. You got me right in the scar. Gam Gam. You can't just oh. go around punching people in the nose. His, I thought his glasses were going to protect him more. I... Uh... Surprisingly, not. <laughs> not. 
It's Hang okay, on. Rory. After this, you can maybe you can start wearing an eye patch. That'll look cool. My, no, my my eyes okay. It's just it's just my glasses are. I mean, I have these ones which are my seeing glasses, but my my sunglasses are broken. I, I can't I can't wear those anymore. He turns I'm sure around. I'm we can get you new ones. Um. Gam Gam has started rummaging in her gigantic bag. Um, I was like, I, I got something in here. Hang on. Uh, and uh, pulls out this pair of uh, like blue tinted aviator design and and mm. like just sort of casually hands them over to you. But I, had, I, just, I had these. I found these somewhere on an adventure. Oh, yeah, these are these aren't bad. Yeah, these can um, There's like a slight tingle as you put them on. Oh. Um, we know that like in Daybreak City, sunglasses are armor. Uh, right. These are uh, magical armor. Oh. And there's something that sort of like, yeah, uh, a sensation. I don't know. What do you think it feels like when you put them on? I think I, I mean, I, it starts in my face, but I feel like it probably, I feel this kind of surge of a little bit of spark run down my body and go through my arms. Up to my fingers. stands on end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I see my goosebumps. I get, I get goosebumps, yeah. And it comes in like a slow wave. Mm -hmm. I should move you guys outside where you are. Oh, um, they can't get messed you up. They gave you a glow up. This looks awesome. Awesome. They look so good, Rory! Oh, Tanya. Cool, thank Rory, you. Rory, you look so cool. Yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. I do, I? Yeah. Gam mm Gam, -hmm. thank you. These are these are great. These are... Honestly... I wasn't using them. Okay, now stand on one leg. I want to throw rocks at you again. It's funny. <laughs> I mean, okay. okay. Can I join Gam Gam? Yes, help. No, wait. Yes! Oh, uh... Right. Yes. Okay. Everybody throws rocks at Rory. <laughs> Piece of bread in there. I do my best to dodge them all. Um, these are yeah, statistically. These uh -huh. I'll I'll send a message to you, but they are a magical plus one chain shirt with two Plus features one chain shirt oh that means that their armor class is one more than it would otherwise be um two features first while wearing these you can see in dim light within 60 feet as if it were bright light and in darkness as if it were dim light you can't cool. discern color in darkness only shades of gray but you can see second once per day, as a bonus action, you can move up to your speed towards an enemy that has already attacked one of your friends. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Very these nice. Are, these are, yeah, these are really nice. Yeah. Thoughts. I, Rory, I, I, as Rory starts to like contemplate what, like, how these glasses are affecting him, he definitely feels more like able. Like, oh yeah, I can, I can, I can get a little pep in my step. I can do this. Maybe I even dodge some more of rocks. Who knows? Sure. <laughs> Tanya, do you want to like roll an attack with a rock? Or... Yes. <laughs> can I? Can I roll to like? Or it's I guess it would be armor armor class, AC, my armor class, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah which roll. I guess you should Come update on. now to Bring whatever it, it would be a... with your plus one chain shirt. Oh, with the plus one, right? Is a rock a finesse weapon, or are we going straight? <laughs> Look, dude, I don't know the rules of TNT. You tell me. Wow. All I think right. it's thrown. Um, I think it's still a strength, probably. I don't know. Okay, I, then I, I'm i just going to do a strength, um, just a strength check then. And because sure. my modifier is the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't Your do armor I dodge. protects you. I dodge. And I'm uh, cool during it. Something occurs to you as well. How do you know that you are wanted? I, okay, so the, the time leading up to this time, Rory for a little bit was felt a little overconfident and was like kind of actually feeling okay about adventuring because you know we, I, I we took down a big crustacean, um, and I almost died, but I didn't. 
And that, that near-death experience gives a kid a lot of overconfidence. So I was just kind of like prancing around town thinking like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm cool. I can do this. Um, until I saw a wanted poster. So mm -hmm. I, I pretty, pretty much, I just wandered too far away from, from Appadine. Uh, and, and I saw my poster and I immediately just turned around and ran him back. <laughs> was there, was there anybody else on that wanted poster? I think on my posters, I don't think there are. I, I, I imagine like the wanted posters between me and Sorrel would have been separated now. Uh, they actually are on the same, like these um, big boards, like notice boards. Okay. And so you would have seen them both. I would have seen them both. And, and while you're dodging rocks, it may or may not occur to you that um, Strel, if you can find a way to get in contact with her, might be interested to know about the fact that there are places where the yeah. security coalition yeah, yeah, yeah. ain't. Okay. Not that I know how to get in contact with Strel, but because I, I don't, I haven't seen Strel since that first job that we did. True. Very true. Um, I'll let we're, you contemplate that yet. for a moment. Um, there is um, someone. Uh, your actually, um, your dad, uh, Tanya, pokes um, his head through the back door, and he's like, um, "Muffin, there's somebody uh, to see ya." Hey, sweet. Uh, yeah, I'll come right away. Um, sitting in your uh, cafe area here, empty except for this person, is um, uh, Eldrin, the older half-elf uh, wizard who had trained you for your entire life up until uh, he disappeared about um, three weeks ago. Hi, Eldrin. Um... It's good to, well, it's like, it's mixed feelings to see you. How, how have you been? Where, where were you at? Um, hey, um, sorry. I'm sorry that I haven't been in touch. Um, you notice that uh, he has like a, a traveling backpack, like just overstuffed with things, like almost like um, over spilling with like scrolls. Um, he's got a cloak on and a big staff. Um, I, I gotta leave, I gotta leave the city. Why? So, um, you remember the last conversation we had with that, uh, Trey person? Yeah. So, I obviously didn't feel great about how that went. I could tell you were upset and I understand why, right? Yeah. I don't feel great about it either, though. You were just doing your job, but that didn't mean we didn't actually have a friendship or companionship and stuff like that. So, I mean, I guess mm -hmm. I forgive you, is what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. I know the city's rough and and it's 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 hard to be a good person in it. There's something about this place that makes it hard to be good, but hear me out before you decide whether or not you're going to forgive me. Okay. Um, you made it pretty clear that you don't want to be dragged into anything. Right. With these families, mm -hmm. with their wars against each other and the things that they do to this city. The... Del Ramon has asked me to bring you into them. They're getting desperate. I'm not sure why, but I didn't trust them. And I told them no. Uh, they don't know exactly where you are. Okay. But they know how to find me. So it's time for me to get as far away as I can. Okay. That makes sense. Thank you for... I mean... You said listen to you, but like... I mean, they might have followed you here, but 
you did the right thing and I'm I'm proud of you. Um, and Tanya gives him a big hug. Um, mm -hmm. And it's like, if you know anybody who knows Alan Rose Shield, they are a friend and you can trust them. They have a lot of little webs out and I'm sure you can find safety with any of his friends. Thank you. I You're all welcome. remember that name. And then if you, um, when you feel like you can't, uh, send me a postcard or something like that. Um, it would be good. Mm. I'll try to find a way to do that safely, but it might be a long time. I don't want to. Ooh, 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 or I was reading. There's a spell and it's called sending and you only get 25 words, which is not that much because, you that know. seems so specific. Yeah, it's so specific, but you can send a, you can do it, you can send it anywhere. I was reading about it in a book. You can send it anywhere to anybody, but you just know them. So if you know them, so just when you're safe, learn that spell and send me a message and I can reply and tell you if I'm safe. This is not in my spell book, um, but yes, I will. I know of several libraries and he starts sort of muttering to himself and uh, pulls out a scrap and writes down a note and he says, wait, 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 wait. No, I came here to tell you something else. Oh yeah, what is it? Isn't it, isn't it amazing how not saying something can be such a heavy thing? Yeah weighing you down at first and then it just sort of starts to settle until you can't say it you could never you can't even think about how just, you know what I mean well if you can't say it can you thank it and Tanya opens up a link with him he looks in your eyes and you hear his voice in your head said, I always thought that maybe you would figure it out on your own or that maybe you knew and I wouldn't have to say it. And he looks in your eyes like hoping to see some sort of recognition. That I'm dead? That's right. I figured it out. Is there... Am I going to live a normal life? Like, or is my life tied to this city? Do you know what a revenant is? No. As far as I can understand it, you died 12 years ago. And the city decided to resurrect you. Uh, for a purpose is how that works normally. The deity or being that creates a revenant has a job for them. And I think that normally there's some sort of consent or agreement. I don't know whether you said anything that you remember or don't remember, but listen, every morning since I first met you, I've cast this spell and it's one of my own invention. I derived it from transfiguration and non-detection spells that my teacher crafted himself. And the purpose of it is to protect you from magic that harms or detects the undead and to let okay. you grow and look like a living person. I um, I should have told you that a long, long time ago, and I'm so sorry. It's okay. So I'm just a tiny, withered child. Yeah. Okay. 
And once my purpose is done, will I go? Yeah. Okay. Okay. He um, hands you um, a ceramic um, container. It's made of like just like a rough, you know, um, red clay and says, um, I will keep casting my spell, but I've never been more than a few miles away from you. Um, there are stored spells for you. Okay. Thank if you, you open the um, the urn jar thing, there are these nine fragile glass orbs. He says those are one day. Okay. I don't know if this is going to fade quickly or slowly, but I want you to have as much time as you can living as you have and it's been 12 years they haven't called you to your purpose yet maybe you'll have 12 more I think everything's coming to a head actually so I think I'll be I don't think I'll be around much longer But thank you for protecting me. This sucks. Yeah. Well, just... I, well... <sighs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just didn't want you to have to think about it, but I am justifying myself and it's not about me. It's <sighs> look. If I find anything that can help, I'll let you know. Okay. Well, maybe, or maybe I won't get to go on a date then. Eh, okay. it was always a question anyways. I think there's um, some people trying to bring the city back to life and um, it's going to kill everybody, and I don't think this city wants to be brought back, so... Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's it, maybe it's not. I don't know, maybe the purpose is to live with them forever. I, I don't know. He pulls you in for a hug. Tanya gives him a hug and just starts sobbing again. Um, he holds you for a long time and then sort of um, separates himself from for just enough to look you in the eyes and says um don't I know it feels like hoping hurts more but this is a weird world something I don't know maybe I'll find something I'll, I'll be in touch. Okay. And uh, he stands up and walks out. <clears throat> and uh, as he walks out, Gam Gam walks in and says, 
I'm out of fish pastries. <laughs> okay, game, game. I'll get some for you right, right away. Are you crying? Yep. He turns around and looks at for uh, uh, her granddaughter. He's like, your friend's crying. <laughs> I'm not good with this. I what? punch people. Are you, uh, are you calling um, for me? Um, emotions and make me uncomfortable. It, it's, it's fine. Do you, can you want something? Who do I need to talk to? Uh, I'm going to give them a stern talking to. Nobody. Point me in the right direction. And I can help. I can help. Anything for game and, game. And Rory can help. I can help. Guys, I don't think you can help. Are you okay? Is there a way I can drop the spell? I, um... Hmm. Roll me an arcana check. Ugh. Did I roll it? I don't oh, see it. There it is. <laughs> It's t it's always difficult to break a spell that somebody else cast. Yeah. And, Wait, uh, um, spell. What are we talking about here? So I had everybody just sit down. Let's just sit down. And uh, um, Dad, Mom, come here. Okay. Nice. Um, everybody they, down. They poke their heads in, and. Uh, And uh, yeah, I think um, I think maybe we like fade to black as you explain to your friends and family um, everything that you do know and don't know. Um, and um, open up uh, in the apartment of Alan Rose Shield. Um, you've been doing some research, right? Mm. Uh, there have been some questions that, uh, Tanya's been asking, yep. um, out of curiosity regarding, um, the ancient history of the city. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of history in this town. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. And I think it's at this very uh, moment that you um, have uh, in the um, sort of upscale um, neighborhood of Luckwood, up, upper class adjacent, um, <laughs> been talking to uh, someone with a private a private collection of um, of different you know. Uh, it's probably not like tomes or codices. It's likely um, like tablets and things that mm. would have been preserved for many, many years. Um, yeah. This person uh, has, they live in this, um, essentially a community for people who are retired. Uh, ah, very, very gotcha. quiet. Kind of nice. I, well, I guess, how, how would you feel about a place like that? Um, Aelin's indifferent to quietness or hubbub as long as it's mm -hmm. not, not annoying noise he doesn't really care that much um yeah this is it's nice it's, mm. it's pleasantly quiet you Very know pleasant yes yes um manicured lawns and uh well groomed like planters with different succulents in there and stuff <laughs> the occasional palm tree <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah but you are walking out of this house with some old tablets that are actually pretty valuable for you um just sort of confirming um and giving a little bit more weight to some of the because this city is so old that like anything about its origins is speculation yeah. almost. But yeah, you found it's... some stuff that supports some theories and you're like, well, this is, you know, this makes me feel more confident that I know some things about it. Mm -hmm. And that's all um, the stuff that I sent you in a DM. So yes, that's yes, yours to that share thing, yeah. with people as you like. Um, the thing that's interesting that you notice as you walk out of this building 
is that there is another elf, a wood elf, um, who is like, <laughs> I don't know, Stacy, what are you <laughs> up to? <laughs> Uh, Strell is probably sitting at a card table with some, uh, with some retirees and, uh, you can hear just like, just clear as day, just bullshit. <laughs> and then starts like going ham and like, you totally changed. You had an ace up your sleeve, you son of a... <laughs> And is just like chewing out this old person uh, while like holding cards, and is like this close to flipping the table. I think Aelin almost drops these ancient tablets that he's just been given, startled out of his skin at the sudden outburst. And not only that, he recognizes who it is. Yeah. The outfit's it's, it's sort slightly of shoot, different. Shoots his, shoots his gaze straight over, and he sees Strel of all people, and he's thinking to himself, "What?" Yeah, <laughs> it's it's really weird too, because she's wearing a shirt kind of like what you would wear. She's like out of her <laughs> like uniform, and is like <laughs> is like slowly becoming one of the members of this society. <laughs> the the like, sure sign of surrender to old age is that you're dressed uh -huh. like Aelin. <laughs> Girl is like a good hundred years uh, like you're uh, younger than you, but is like yeah. is like getting that like mm, that cringe. Um, yeah, Aelin's Aelin's just straight up. His curiosity has been piqued too much. This is too much of a, of a delicious mystery to not investigate. So he's gonna stop walking, turn on his heel, get the tablets back in order, and just stroll straight at the card table to see what the heck's going on. You have to have, you had to have been counting cards. We said that was, and you didn't, you totally ignored the house rule. Hello, Stroud. This is not fair. What's a house rule? You, who we are? talked about this, Harold. We I thought about this was it. bridge. I'm so confused. No. We were playing poker. Remember, we started by playing I poker. I got distracted. There's I a boy. Know That's why I kept reminding you oh, about I'm glad you... the aces. And the young little... gentleman. Hi, Strel. <laughs> she like yeah, starts gripping the edge over. of the table. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Harold. Your friend, Aiden sort of leans, <laughs> leans into Strell's view. Hi, Strell. <laughs> Hello. She like eases up for a second. Is like, hi, hi. What? What? You want to go for a walk? Sure. Fine. Harold, son of a. I'm on to you. <laughs> I'm, uh, I I'm winning. Like... in Harold's direction. I'm <laughs> winning. Give me the, the, the points. <laughs> I'd take my money off the table. I'd put like, there's like two or three gold on the table. He just looks distracted at you. He's like, okay. <laughs> Next, same time tomorrow. Same, same time tomorrow. <laughs> same time forever. <sighs> uh, she follows Aelin and it's like, thank God you're here. What is up? Tell me, please tell me there's something to do. Please, God, tell me. What the hell are you doing here? Did you like find some sort of treasure? Do you need like, uh, do you need me to sort of like, you know, go go get something? Tell me that there's, tell me that you found something good. I'm I'm dying here, man. I'm dying. So I see. Are you all right? She grabs you by the lapels. I am not all right. I'm losing my goddamn mind. Aelin, you gotta get me out of here, man. Okay. I've uh, been hiding here for so long. And I was I was out. I was out. I was free for a minute. But then, oh my god. Sly. The cactus king. She still has you by the lapels. I mm. hey, you can see Aelin is uncomfortable and a bit off balance. Uh you can put me down now unless you gonna start punching me. I'd rather you didn't start punching me. Your punches no, no, hurt. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm fine. 
That's I'm fine. that's that's grand. That's mm -hmm. that I'm. Uh. You, you have you have news? You have something going on? Yeah. Um. It's something maybe academic, that... but. Mm, but like academic, going oh, I on. can, I can, you know, I can be academic. Do you need a research assistant? I've read some books in my time. Um, I am very capable of writing. You don't writing. have to justify it to me, Strel. Come, you, welcome to come with okay. me if you want. Thank it's God. it's okay, fine. Thank you. Are you thank allowed you. to leave, or have you just mm. been hiding out in this place of all places? Why yeah. here? This is one of the most boring places I've ever been. It was my manager, Trey, he knows people here. Oh, right, of course, Trey, yes. And um, yeah. Is Trey your manager? I thought you were just buddies. You know, it's a little bit of both. Okay. A little bit of both. Uh, it's, it's, you know, a friendly, professional relationship. Yeah. But anyway, anyway. Uh, this is one of the few places that Trey found where, uh, where the, uh, where, 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 I, where they're, where they the can't Kavidi find The Kaviti Security Coalition. Yeah, this Kaviti Security, thank you, my brain. Where the Kavitis can't find me. Right, so, have you annoyed Senna or tried hitting on Winona or something <sighs> to warrant this? <laughs> well... There was, I mean, there was a boat, and, I mean... And roll, the, me, and, uh, and, roll me an intelligence check. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Um, just straight intelligence. Okay! It's... A Strails little roll, but it's been a long, <laughs> long, long time. <laughs> and I think yeah. that low roll is why it has taken you several months to remember that you told you're like you and drag you and uh, Roy are the only people who's you know wanted information has showed up, and and it occurs to you that you walked up to a. Kaviti party and told someone who was working security for them your name with no disguise on. <laughs> and then yeah, something got that, stolen from them. And so did Rory. <laughs> Although it was just Edge, which I think is the name on the one of <laughs> <laughs> And this sort of realization hits you. Uh well. Mm. Mm. There, there may have been a mishap uh, at some point during the uh, during our, our little RHV project. Did you uh, just straight up tell them who you were? <laughs> what? No, you... I would never. Oh, okay. I would. No. You totally would. That is exactly mm. the sort of thing you would do. Look, we had to get inside. Yeah. I have don't, a bit of a You don't have to just... Dude, you don't have to justify it to me. It's fine. All right, take off your glasses. Um, just to... Because you... Uh, charitably, you looked... You look almost as bad as me. So if you lose the glasses and hey. rough your hair up a bit, you should be okay for a bit of a stroll back to my flat. Um, yeah, so canonically... <laughs> Strel doesn't wear glasses, uh, but she would have had sunglasses on oh, yeah, and around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. um, she's like, yeah. fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she like tussles her hair. Um, she probably had it in her classic high pony for a second, but then kind of yeah. uh, layers yeah. it so it is like like so, and is like, I know I'm not. <laughs> Look, they are really bad at doing laundry here. It's just like my my usual outfit is in the wash uh, so I, I had to borrow one of Harold's shirts you don't have to justify it to me you're fine dude it's... I think um, this conversation carries us uh, yeah. down the road um, into central Apodim, uh to uh, <clears throat> the uh, Baker family bakery mm. um, 
Aelin, where you uh, were heading to, uh, getting, you know, getting maybe catch lunch. up, yeah. get some lunch, and, and tell um, tell Tanya, who's been bugging you constantly, um, a little bit about what you've learned. Yes. Um, so uh, I think that um, you are walking north up the main road towards the Baker Family Bakery, and as you approach it, you notice four people walking south carrying ice cream cones uh, mm. it's uh mirish rory tanya <laughs> and gam gam ah just getting back from their excursion you know i really needed this i don't know about you guys but this has been a really heavy day oh, oh there they are Perfect. you're just, you are don't telling call me don't at them strell oh. wait let's be sorry wait, about this Aelin, you didn't say that we were going to meet up with those teenagers. Mirish, give me a perception oh, check. Mm, wait. Gonna have to remind me how to do that again. So you can go to your character <laughs> sheet and I think just click um, your perception score. Mm. And it'll ask you if you want to roll it with advantage 14. or whatever. You're not 100% sure, but you think that that's Estralaria. Wait, is no is, what, is that? Time? Look over there. What, that... Is that is that Estrela? <gasps> oh. B. Oh, it's, it's them. Is I mean, it uh, Marish? Marish. Which, which she's not that big of a deal. What, what, what is yeah, she, she's, really, she's really not. She's really not. I saw. I seen her in action. What? She. How no, he... not that big of a deal. Yeah. Yes, I don't, she I don't is. Know. I, I think maybe amazing. they like, fix it in post to make it look she, really good, but like in person, it's eh. She's it's one that, of the yeah, best just kinda... acrobats out there. I've been wanting <laughs> to meet her forever. I saw her fall. She's my hero. You know the backflip that I failed Tanya? earlier? I, she did much worse. Okay. All right. Um, Tanya Tanya puts her hand on her and it's like, this is so last. Like, just let her, let her have this. It's her, just let her have this. And gives her a pat on the back. He's like, Hey! Hey, Strel! Hi! This is my friend Mirish! There you go! Hi! Hi! Oh, don't Hi. say my name out loud. We don't know who's listening. It should uh, be okay here. Right. Yeah. I, I just want to say I'm like a really huge fan. I, I actually Elena, do I haven't a lot seen of anything. I haven't seen any posts here. Stuff just, too. And yeah. um, I, I just. Um, I, I try to like Hi. reach your level, but I, okay. I can't. And I'm just like, oh my god, I'm just such a big fan. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, kid, it's it's chill, it's chill. Hey, uh, hi. What's your name, kid? Uh, m my name is Marish. Marish Moramira. You can call hey, me Riz. Marish. It's fine. Sweet. Uh, What's hi. up, Edge and uh, Tanya? Was it? Hey. Right? No. Yeah, yeah. Aelin, what are what are we doing with these? What are Getting lunch. We're awesome, Strel. Let's go get lunch. Hey. Come on. Yeah, actually, Strel, right, I wouldn't right, mind right. talking right. to you. Um, I, I, you've seen the posters, right? Of, of course of... I have. Why do you think I look like this? I mean, posters. Honestly, I didn't question it. Uh, but okay, I have some. I, I can tell you some things. I've been looking around here. It's, it's actually okay around here. So. Like we should be, we should be okay. Um, around yeah. here, a little bit for a kind of, and I, I kind of just give her a list of. I start as we're walking back to the bakery. I, I start discussing like where I've noticed is okay to be safe. Yeah, like where we have the the Kavadi. As you're as like we're saying it, Strella's is gonna like tear a piece of notebook paper from one of Aelin's notebooks and like write it down. Make yeah. sure there's nothing important on that first. There's a it's, pencil it's in my fine. pocket. It's fine. This one has like a doodle on it. It's nothing. Oh. It's oh, an no, important you, map. Yeah, that's that's good. It's 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 like literally a sketch of the expedition he's just been on for like ropes yeah. and stuff. Strel, yeah, sure. Strel and then, would probably recognize that for rope setup and, and all of that. The, the only thing I don't understand, Strel, is like why only us? Why is it only you and I that are being hunted? Like we had a full mm. team of people. You know about that. Uh <laughs> Turns out you're a big fat loudmouth. Uh who Me? Yeah, me? You, what do you mean me? You we were on what that job. Yes. Hey, kid, listen, respect your elders. Listen. I uh, I struggle were... to imagine that you're older than me, but I, I know it's true, but 
The more I mute, I know it just kills over ageless. laughing. <laughs> I know this face is ageless, but come on, give me give me a little credit. Uh, okay, no, but still, you we were at that heist. We were doing our we were doing our job, right? Mm -hmm. and remember how you were like, ah, oh, yeah, let's get us inside. How we're gonna do that? Oh well, let's exploit Strell's fame, shall we? So That's... you went up to the guards and you told them that my name was Pretty Strell sure. and your name was Edge, and that's how they knew that we were there. I'm remember pretty sure I didn't say anything. I'm thinking you're I the one who introduced us, and I'm pretty sure, sure that, that I wasn't this. my decision to go with you. And you're the yes, person. Yes, it was. We were sneaking in, and you're the one who messed up. And and God is seen. Excuse me, I'm you're just, the I'm one. Gonna, and then you're I'm the one gonna, who ditched you're me the one when who I was being dragged to the stop. water. Please, for goodness sake, ass. save this for the guys, bakery. Guys, guys, guys. Mirish, have you ever heard of the saying, don't meet your heroes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys make your way into the bakery. Mirish is Probably just wide-eyed, haven't blinked, just staring at everything that's going down, have no idea what's happening. <laughs> I mean, Hello there, Boar. How are you doing? Yeah. Have you have you um, recovered from the episode? All right. Oh yeah, it's not a big deal at all. I'm. Thank you for asking. Oh, you're Appreciate most welcome. the manners and she pats your face. Quick question. Some people know how to uh, how to act. Quick question: Does, Would Strel know Boar? <clears throat> Interesting. You can Does roll me a history check. Sweet. I will gladly roll you a history if check. My gam gam moves Strel this entire time. Lose <laughs> my shit. Uh, I think that you, shit might be lost. I think it's more that you know who she is, um, but that she doesn't know who you are. Um, and and it's not oh, okay. that you've been introduced, but you know her reputation as somebody who uh, you just sort of don't mess with like there are people there are not many people but there are a few people who are allowed to move around any like gang territory in the city with utter impunity and it's just like they the rules just don't apply and mm -hmm. uh this is yeah boar mira marriage this is this is one of those people and they're just sort of casually talking to aelin yeah i'll kind of like clock her and then get like like even more defensive <laughs> just be like oh my god mm -hmm. like ugh. i'm i'm probably about what a century and a bit older than boar i think yes yes yeah yes you're yeah. much older um boar is very old not, for an work not, not wiser that's um, that's for sure yeah i think that very, very old for an orc is like late eighties. Um, and but like you know, regardless, incredibly, you know, fit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. I I think that as you guys sort of make your way into the bakery and start maybe connecting the dots of who you are and how you know each other uh it would be a good time for us to take a quick break how's that sound That's had some ups and downs right <laughs> yep uh friends we're gonna uh stretch our backs bodies legs um you know grab snacks and whatever else um please do the same look at something far away uh drop your shoulders unclench your jaw unfurrow your brow take your meds if you forgot um don't forget yeah, to take drink some water deep breaths uh and we'll see you in eight to ten